for a boy. Haunted by numbers. Two great presidents will fight the dark forces of math in the sixth sense. Okay, integers are not scary. Not even their evil twins, the negative integers. To see how not scary it is to add and subtract integers, let's take a stroll down number line lane. On number line lane, each house number is an integer. Our presidents, adding Abe, and take away Tom will travel from one house to another based upon the directions given. Let's look at a set of directions. The first integer is the starting house. The plus sign tells us that we are adding and we want to use Abe. The second integer serves two purposes. The number tells how many houses away we are moving to and the sign of number states if Abe is walking forward or backward. A positive number moves forward and a negative number moves backward. Let's put it all together and see how it works. The three means we start at house number three. The plus sign indicates to use the penny with Abe. The negative four tells Abe to walk one, two, three, four steps backwards. Ha 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 ha. Abe ends up at house negative one. And that is the answer to 3 plus negative 4. Let's try it again. Start at negative 2, add, move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps forward and at 4. Negative 2 plus 6 equals 4. To clarify the difference between adding a negative number and adding a positive number, let's look at two more examples. In the expression 1 plus negative 2 we start at 1 and add by going backwards two steps. This puts us at negative 1. And that's the answer to the problem. However, if we change the problem to 1 plus 2, we move two steps forward and end up at 3. Now we'll look at subtraction with integers. Again, the first integer is the starting house. The minus sign tells us that we are subtracting and we want to use Tom. The second integer still tells us how many houses away we're moving and if Tom is walking forwards or backwards. So we start at house number two. The minus sign indicates to use a nickel with Tom. The positive three tells Tom to walk one 
two, three steps forward, and Tom ends up at house negative one. And that is the answer to two minus three. Let's try another example. Start at negative one, subtract, move one, two, three, four steps backwards, and at three. Negative one minus negative four equals three. Again, to clarify the difference between subtracting a positive number and subtracting a negative, negative number, let's look at two more examples. In the expression 1 minus 3, we start at 1 and subtract by going forward 3 steps. This puts us at negative 2. And that's the answer to the problem. However, if we change the problem to 1 minus negative 3, we move 3 steps backward and end up at 4. Let's review the whole process. The first integer is your starting point. If you add, use Abe. If you subtract, use Tom. A positive number means to move forward. A negative number means to move backwards. Where you end up is your answer. Thank you. I hope this makes adding and subtracting positive and negative integers a less frightening experience for all of you.